Hello, hello. Hello. Oscar, Mirna, Hello, Karen. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Jose, welcome, Jose. Welcome, Karen. Welcome, everybody, to a new class. And, uh, oh. Okay, I'm going to make a review for the last class. So let me share, let me share the, my screen to you, right? Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Here. Yes, question? Uh, just I want to know because my, my headset uh, has been just a word, just a word bad. Doesn't work very well. Uh huh. But you can you can hear me. Bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. You can hear me. No me Thank escucha you. muy bien. Yeah. Yes. Now one, I one, one, two. I hear you. You can you. hear me. Yeah. Jose. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, and I can hear you too. I can hear you too. No problem. We're okay, right? No problem. Okay. okay Let's good. Go. Okay. Give me a second. I will open. This, okay, good. Now, section two, um, health problems, here. Okay, good evening, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. Patricia, Blanca, Roxana, Oscar, Felipe, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> okay, now let's start, right? Okay. Now we're going to uh, check again the video of yesterday. Hello everyone and welcome to this section. In this class, we will go over some words related to health problems. I want you to listen and repeat. A headache, a backache, sore muscles, a stomachache, a cold, a cough, the flu, insomnia. Okay. On our discussion box, I want you to write a health problem you have had recently. Okay, let's see if some of you wrote. Uh-huh, yes. I have Roxana, Felipe, Giovanni, etc., etc., right? I, I still hear a microphone. A microphone, please. Escucha un micrófono todavía, please. Me, me pagan el micrófono, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now. Uh, I, I can have, no, okay, in these cases, I had a stomachache, right? And in present, I have a headache. You have sore muscles, sore muscles, right? Okay, my wife had a stomachache last night. Good, I have a cough because I drank something that was very cold, okay. And remember that I, the pronoun I, is with capital letter, right? Mayuscula. I have sore muscles because I did exercise yesterday. Okay, nice. I have had a backache. In this case, it's the present, the past perfect, right? Yo he tenido. I have had a headache. That's nice. My son have a stomachache. Mm, okay, I see a problem here. Uh, Jose, Jose Perez, can you help me? What, what is the mistake here? My son have a stomach cake. Uh, I don't know what is the mistake. Okay, my son is singular, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Jose is have or has? Ah, uh, my son has. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Has, right? Your parents have a terrible cold. Okay, good. You can't sleep because you have insomnia, okay? I have a headache, my husband had insomnia. This is past, right? Mi esposo tenía insomnia. 
my husband can have, no. Here in this case, we eliminate can, and we say my husband have some muscle, mm, some sore muscle, right? Oh, my husband have sore muscle, right? After he does, ah, oh, okay. So this example. After tendría que ser my husband will have. After my source, my husband will have, right? Okay, that's an option. And another here, I can have a stomach cake if I, if I eat, right? A lot of pizza. Okay, so these are some of the examples. Thank you for your collaboration, right? Now we're going to uh, check the, the grammar, right? Infinitive complements. Please watch the video. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, this is the, the grammar structure, right? Now, let me check. If we have commentaries, yes, we have two commentaries. Uh, listen, it's important to walk for your health. I'm happy to see you in class. It is delicious to have a coffee dipping the bread, okay, dipping the bread, right? And then the period, punto, aquí al final. You know, dipping is like metiendo el pan, right? <laughs> in the coffee. Okay, then it's important to study English. It's sometime, sometimes helpful to dance. Oh, nice. Okay, and what should I do for the flu? It is really important to get a lot of rest. It is a good idea to eat garlic and chicken soup. Oh, okay. You shouldn't go to, the, to work. To work, right? The word not, to work. You should stay in bed. Okay, so that is the, the discussion. And now we're going to go to the knowledge check. Let me check here. I will maximize here, right? Okay. So in this case, uh, I need to ask you, did all of you finish the, the knowledge check? Ya todos terminamos este ejercicio? Yes, teacher. Yes, everybody. I need you to be on it, right? Hoy alguno todavía que no lo haya hecho. Don't, don't worry, we still have time. No, yet. Ask, no yet. No yet. Okay, good. So uh, we're going to check it tomorrow. But now I will explain uh, what you have to do. Right? Uh, some of you were asking me about the verb, right? Algunos de ustedes me estaban preguntando qué verbos íbamos a usar acá, right? Because uh, it depends on the noun. For example, vitamin C, you say uh, there are some verbs. Drink, take, get, put, see, right? In this case, what, what could be the most appropriate verb? ¿Cuál sería el verbo más apropiado? Let me see. Take. Uh, Blanca? Blanca Lemus? ¿Qué verbo podríamos usar acá, Blanca? Eh, drink, put, o, o take. Mm, drink. 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 Mm -hmm. eh, Gloria, can you help me, Gloria? Gloria Palma, please. Yes, teacher. Take. take. 
Take, 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 right? Take. Okay, Blanquita. Take, 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 right? take. Okay, yes. Now, lots of liquids. Lots of liquid, right? Let drink. me see who is here. Uh, Oscar Alberto. The drink. Oscar Alberto. What is the verb here? Take, get, drink, or see? Drink, teacher. Drink, right? Yes. Oscar Alberto Martinez. Thank you very much. Alan. Welcome, Alan. Okay. Okay, what is the verb for... Eh, listen, we're only discussing the verb, right? Solo estamos discutiendo los verbos. No hemos dado las respuestas todavía. Okay. Okay, good. Porque algunos no lo han terminado. Así que, ¿verdad? <laughs> todavía hay que dejar los que trabajen. Okay, now. Eh, in this case, ointment. Ointment is the, like, similar to cofal, right? Yeah. Okay, so what, what is the most appropriate, Alan? Drink, put, or take? Put. To put. put. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Now, next one, please. Uh, Karen Melendez. For a dentist, what do you do with the with the dentist? You drink a dentist, you put a dentist, or you see a dentist? You see. You see. You see a dentist, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And the number five. Three. Song medicine. Mm -hmm. Let me see who's going to help me. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jose Magaña. Hello, Jose. Welcome. Okay. Listen, I will give you, Jose, three examples, right? Song medicine. What is the correct verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo correcto, Jose? Uh, drink, get, or put? Drink, get, put. What is the correct verb, Jose? Jose Magaña? Can you hear me, Jose? Jose, maybe your microphone. El, creo que no he encendido el micrófono, Jose. Okay, okay, okay. I'll I, I turn on, I'll turn on. Okay, good. So again, uh, put, um, I forgot the no, number, put, get, or drink. <laughs> I think get. Get, correct, Jose, congratulations. Get, right? Now you have, uh, you're ready to, to answer, right? Hoy sí creo que estamos listos para responder. Okay, good. So this is the review of the last class. Do you have any extra question? Hay alguna preguntita, especialmente en este ejercicio. Algunos me preguntaron bastante, ¿verdad? Uh, I don't know if you have any extra question. Hay alguna pregunta extra sobre este ejercicio y sobre el uso del no. infinitivo? No. No. Okay. The, the yes, number, yes. The number three. The number three. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. It's sometimes helpful. Ok, so the only thing, ya discutimos cuál es el verbo, yeah. solo le vamos a poner la preposición. ¿Cuál preposición le vamos a poner? Yeah. Two. 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 Correct, two, two. correct. So, yeah. And you can add, right? You can add some. Two. Some, for example, two. you can add this. Some, right? We have some? here some. Aquí ya tiene some, así que no es necesario some. agregar. On it. Ok. <laughs> Yes. Pero me sale mal. ¿Le sale mala? No sé por qué me sale mal. Ok, let me see. Eh, vamos a, a revisar entonces. Después de la clase. Eh, your name, please. Lo que no le alcanzo a ver aquí. Eh, ¿Quién me está hablando? Uh, Patricia, no, no. Patricia, no, no. no. ¿Quién me está hablando? Perdón. No, no, que no... Soy, no, yo aprovecho. What is, uh, what is get? Get is obtener. Pero es un verbo uh, muy amplio, ¿verdad? Obtener, comprar, lograr, mm -hmm. conseguir. <laughs> But in this case, is, uh, to get is uh, tomar. En este caso, medicina, right? Mm -hmm. Get, get some medicine. 
Ok, but, eh, ¿quién me estaba hablando de la número 3? Perdón, es que no tengo abierto todas las cámaras. ¿Quién me estaba hablando? ¿Betty? No. Ok. Eh, después de la clase me ponen la pregunta en la, la, la número 3, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Para ver, quizás hay, un, hay un, una, una mayúscula o un punto o una coma ahí, a veces se nos va sin querer. ¿Verdad? Y, eh, la, una chica me estaba hablando ahí, no sé quién era, perdón. Eh, me pone en el WhatsApp, por favor, y yo lo voy a revisar luego para que ahí lo, lo, lo resolvamos juntos, ¿ok? Good. Good. Now let's start with the class, right? Let's start with the class. Now I will start with the PowerPoint presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Today we are going to learn a conversation. What do you suggest? Okay. And also we are going to learn about the modal verbs can, could, may, or request, right? Para pedir algo. Cuando pedimos algo, usamos estos modal verbs. Okay. And suggestions, como dar una sugerencia cuando alguien se siente yes, mal, yes, qué, yes. qué medicina podemos darle, ok? Suggestion. So, today, two topics, conversation and modal verbs can, could, and may, right? Ok. Good. So, to start, we're going to read together the objective for today, right? The lesson objective. So, I need someone to help me reading. Let me see. Um, I can do it, teacher. Okay, please do it. Okay, in this section, you will listen to vocabulary related to containers following this part. Conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place. Model verbs for request and suggestion are introduced. Okay, thank you very much. So, this is the objective, right? And the vocabulary for today. Can is the name, right? Make listen, please, listen, listen, listen. Uh, can, could, make, cough, with F, F, cough drops, lotion, multivitamins, or multivitamins, aspirin, ointment, skin cream. Okay, now, please. Repeat after me, please, but with the microphone off, right? Con los micrófonos apagados. Ready? Okay, repeat after me. Can. Could. Make. Cough drops. Lotion. Multivitamins. Aspirin, ointment, skin cream. Okay, so this is the vocabulary for today. Any question? Any question? Uh, yeah, yeah, teacher. Yes, Jose. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of ointment? Uh, ointment is the... Uh, and cough drops and multivitamins. Multivitamin. Multivitamin is multivitamina, right? Coffee oh, <laughs> is like a winter. Cover. Uh -huh. Ointment is ungüento, right? And cough drops is eh, gotas para, para yeah. la tos, pero sería en este caso eh, jarabe, sería, ¿verdad? Cough drops. Uh, porque para la tos no hay, no hay gota, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. So, cough drops. Mm. Literalmente es gotas para la tos. Pero en español no sé cómo le decimos, cómo le diríamos nosotros. Sería como jarabe para la tos, ¿verdad? O, o, o pastillas para la tos, sí. Ok. Good. Any other question? Son, son como esas gagrias que son líquidas. Ah, yes. Eh, se llaman. ¿Cómo se llaman en español estas grajeas? No. Um, sí, eso es. Que viene sí. como las. las sí. La Li liquid, 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 liquid
como perlas. Ajá, correcto. Ok, yes, you're right. You're right. Thank you, thank you. Ya me ubicaron. Thank you very much. Ok, that's it, right? Now? Um, this is the vocabulary for you. Now, uh, here we have more vocabulary. Suggestion, right? Suggestion for uh, some medication. Here we have some medication, right? Now, please listen the first time. And the second time, we're going to repeat. Primero vamos a escuchar y después repiten con el micrófono apagado. Ok, ready? Vocabulary. Medications. Read and listen. A painkiller. Cold tablets. A nasal spray. A decongestant. Eye drops. An antihistamine. Cough medicine. An antibiotic. An antacid. An ointment. Vitamins. Now listen again and repeat. Repetition, come on. A painkiller. Cold tablets. A nasal spray. A decongestant. Eye drops. An antihistamine. Cough medicine. An antibiotic. An antacid. An ointment. Vitamins. Okay, these are some medication, right? For common uh, health problems. Do you understand? Do you have any question about this? Questions? No. Okay, good. Let's yeah, continue. Fine, yes, yeah. yes. Painkiller is a... Uh, um, ¿Cómo sería en español? Eh, eh, matador de dolor, pero sería, um, let me see, sería un... Analgésico. Ana ok, thank you very much. Today I don't have the word, right? Hoy no tengo las palabras para las traducciones, I'm sorry. I understand, yo lo entiendo, pero para las palabras, sorry, today I don't find it. An analgésico, yes, analgésico, painkiller. Okay. Yes, ok, good. And... Um, I guess the, the other is very clear, right? Antihistamine is antihistaminico, right? Like uh, for uh, allergies, for allergies, para las alergias, right? Yes, me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and decongestant is the same nasal spray, right? That some people have problems with, with, the, with, the, with the nose, right? Okay, good. So uh, we have here the the vocabulary. Now we're going to see the we're going to see the platform, right? Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. The platform. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's check out the conversation. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? 
Okay, again, we're going to listen to the Have conversation. Something again. for a cough. Listen and practice. Listen. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Now we're going to practice, right? Ese temblor nos desconcentró. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Me too, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you say uh, temblor in English? Tremor, right? Tremor. A tremor. Don't worry. It was not an earthquake. Tremor, no. uh -huh. The earthquake, earthquake, more powerful, right? El terremoto más poderoso, right? The earthquake. Yes. Earthquake. Okay, Danny. Danny, any, any commentary, Danny? Por ahí está Danny levantando la mano. Okay, Danny. Sorry, teacher. Right. <laughs> You're okay? No está nervioso, Danny? No, todo bien. <laughs> All is okay. Okay, good. Now, let's, let's continue with the class. Let's concentrate in the class, right? I have something for a cough. I think I'm getting a cough. As it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen. Okay, now. And practice. Wait. Okay, now. Repeat after me, please. Hi. May I help you? May I help you? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, turn off your microphone, right? Eh, paguemos los micrófonos para que nos concentremos más. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Could I have... Could I have... Could I have something for a cough? Something? Some... Thing. Something. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Think. I think I'm getting a cold. I'm. Mm, mm, I'm. Please don't say I'm. I know, right? It's I'm. I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. I suggest a box of these cough drops. Suggest cough drops. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. Please don't say thank you, right? No, no, it's tha, tha, tha. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you suggest? And what do you suggest for dry, dry skin? Dry skin. Don't say a skin, right? No, it's skin. Skin. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try. Try some of this new lotion. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing, thing, and one more thing, my husband, my husband has no energy these days, 
My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? Can you suggest anything? He should try. He should try. He should try some of these multivitamins. He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. There. Don't say there, no, there, no, it's there. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? May I have, may I have three large bottles, please? Okay, now, listen and repeat, please. Let me see something. We're going to play the audio, right? Okay, good. Listen and repeat, please. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Okay, pay attention indeed, right? May I? Could I? Hmm? What do you suggest? And then the suggestion is try, try this. Okay. Can you suggest, can you? And notice that, what is the problem, right? My husband has no energies. Okay. And look at the reaction of Mrs. Webb. Three large bottles of multivitamin, right? So she needs... Her husband has a lot of energy, right? <laughs> okay, good. That's it, right? Teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, tell uh, me. How do you say multivitaminas? Multi multivitamins. Multi Multi multivitamins. Multivitamins. Uh -huh. only, only vitamins and multivitamins, right? Uh -huh. It's like in Spanish, right? Multivitaminas. Uh -huh. it's... Sí. Okay. Thanks. If you are interested in some of these vitamins these days is necessary to protect you with the coronavirus right coronavirus uh -huh. it's sure. yes jose um 
may maybe you may pronounce cold uh, cold uh -huh, yes you mean cold uh, oh, excuse me is is this cold or cough no cold cold ahí, ahí suena la l yes cold cold in some other y para case cool, y para cool, no 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 uh, in that case no I will give you more examples, uh, Jose. Okay, thank you. Uh, when you, there are some words, for example, that the L is not pronounced. For example, wolf, lobo, oh, you don't say wolf. Golf. You say wolf. It's mute. Uh, it's mute. And also with, with, your, with the palm of your hand, right? La palma de la mano. So you say, you don't say my palm. No, you don't say that, you say my palm. Okay, but in some cases, like in talk, court, talk, walk, walk, yes, yes, you know the topics. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Yes, you know the topic, right? So be careful. Um, one of the tools you can use when you don't know about the pronunciation of one word, you go to San Google, right? And copy, for example, called and copy next oh. pronunciation. And then the Google is going to give you the pronunciation, right? Okay. okay thank you my suggestion right okay so this is the conversation let me see now uh, we are going to see the powerpoint presentation give me a second okay now you're okay after the the tremor ya se nos pasó el susto del, del temblor Yes, yeah, right? So, yes, un poco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Sí, aquí hasta mal internet me estaba sacando de clases también. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you're back, you're back, right? Sí. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for the next lesson objective, right? Who's going to help me? Uh, let me see. Cat uh, Ivet, please Ivet Siliesar. Please, can you read the objective for the class, Ivet? Okay. In this part, part participant in, I think, okay. in this part, participant will be introduced to the use of model verbs can, call, may, for, requit, suggestion. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Request, right? Request. In this case, request means petitions, favors. Okay, that's a request, una petición. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, here we have the structure, right? Notice that we have uh, the modal verb, can, the subject, and have, right? And then the complaint, right? And then you say, can I have vitamins? Can I have cough drops? Can I have, mm, what? Uh, an ointment could I have eye drops so in this case can and could could be used in the same way right to make requests to make requests so notice can and could are used in the same way when you use requests no difference right okay can I have vitamins could I have eye drops okay so uh, let me see. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Can I have vitamins? Could I have eye drops? Okay, that's it, right? Now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform. And let's check it out here. Okay. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. Sorry, okay. In this case, okay. Sorry, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, there is a problem. 
Give me a second. Give me a second. It's a remix. Uh, is uh, uh, the my computer is affected by the tremor? <laughs> okay. Sorry. No problem. Temblor, teacher. <laughs> no, it's because in the video they want you repeat, right? <laughs> okay. Now, yes. I suggest some ointment. <laughs> Sorry. You should get. Some Sorry. The Okay, let me see. Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the modal verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each model verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay, so we're going to have uh, some example, right? In this case, ointment. you should get some skin cream. Okay. Now here we have the example, right? Now I will ask some of you to help me with the, with the examples, right? Uh, let's make a request, right? Remember you can use can and could right, when you make requests. Also may, but may is more like permission, right? You can use it in a request. Se puede usar en request, pero es un poco más usado en, en, en permiso, para pedir permiso, right? El, el más usado en este caso son can and could, right? Okay, good. So I need, let me see, uh, Janira Garcia, please. Janira, can you make uh, one example using can or could to make a request? And remember that in this case, you have to start, Janira, saying, can I have? Can I have, right? Or could I have? Huh? Okay, your example, please. If you, if you, Janira, if you don't want to say uh, medicine, you can say, can I have a pizza, for example, right? <laughs> oh, can I have twenty dollars? <laughs> Okay, so you can use other examples if you want. Come on, you can do it. Janina? No. You're not ready, Janina. Okay. So, uh, someone is going to help you, right? Uh, Roxana, please. Roxana Mendez. Roxana, can you give me one example, please? Teacher, casi no, no, no he comprendido muy bien esto. Ah, okay. Well, I will explain this, Roxy. Pay attention, right? When you when you need something, you make a request. Cuando usted necesita algo, usted lo pide. Okay? Hace una petición. In English, we say request. ¿Ok? Y también puedo hacer sugerencias, right? If you have a problem, I can give you suggestions, una sugerencia. Usted debe tomar esto, usted debe ponerse esta medicina, debe tomar esta aspirina, etcétera, etcétera, right? That is suggestion. Ok, to make suggestion, we can use the modal can and could, right? En inglés, cuando hacemos eh, una petición, right? Eh, podemos utilizar lo, los modal can o could. 
And you can say, for example, can I have, puedo yo tener, o me puede dar, right? Can I have a box of aspirin, for example, right? O you can use could. Aquí puedo usar cualquiera de los dos. Ok, puedo usar por, quién por, o, por ejemplo, o puedo usar cool. Mm -hmm. who, who I have, who I have um, a baker, baker. Um, could I have? Could I have, take? No, no, take no. Take Would, no. Ajá, eliminate take, right? Ya no necesitamos otro verbo, ya tenemos have. Could I have? Y dígame cualquier cosa. Eh, as, aspirin, eh, ointment. Multivitamins. Ok, can I have multivitamins? That's it. That's a good example, right? Ok, Mirna López. Another example, please, Mirna. Just to share. Okay. I eat some pupusas. <laughs> That's nice, I like it. Okay. Mix pupusas or cheese pupusas, Mirna. Cheese. Cheese pupusas. Okay, nice. I like it. I like your example, right? Okay, and the last example. Uh, let me see. Um, Oscar Martinez, please. Oscar. Oscar. Cool. Cool. I have something for a call. Okay, that's I like it. I like it. Okay, good. Now, the last minutes. Teacher, yes, questions? Eh, no sé, pero can, cool, prácticamente no significan lo mismo. ¿Cómo saber cuál okay. usar? In this case, in this context, eh, they're talking about possibilities. La posibilidad de que yo pueda hacer algo o tener algo en este caso, right? Eh, ¿Puedo yo? Tener, hoy puedo yo comprar una caja de, de aspirina, por ejemplo, right? Could I es, podría yo. Because the past of can is could, right? El pasado de can is could. Entonces usted puede decir, ¿puedo yo tener o podría yo tener esto? Right? So you're saying the same. Está diciendo exactamente lo mismo. No hay problema. Usted puede usar can o could. Cualquiera de los dos, ¿ok? Understand? Yes? Yes. Ah, ok. Thank you, thank you. Eh, tengo un feedback en mi micrófono, pero vamos a ver si ya lo eliminamos, ok. Eh, good. Uh, and then, do you have any question about suggestions? ¿Hay alguna pregunta más sobre la, cómo hacer sugerencias? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the question? Only may or maybe. Ah, no, no. You mean this, may, right? May. Okay. When you make request, cuando hace usted una, una petición, puede utilizar el may también, igualita. El can y el could. Okay. Ok, pero, pero el may siempre sería como posiblemente. Podría yo. Ajá, es, es un poco más de, de posibilidad. Y el may se usa un poquito más con, eh, con pedir permiso. Por ejemplo, may I go to the bathroom? ¿Podría ir yo al baño? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Se usa en permiso más que todo, ¿verdad? Sí se puede utilizar eh, como para hacer una petición. Pero es más común que ni could. ¿Sí? Es más okay. común y más usado el can y el could. Ah, ok. Ok. Pero, okay. Eh, sí. El ok, ahí es sería un... como puedo tener un bote de aspirinas, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. O como la señora que quería para el esposo tres botes grandotes, ¿verdad? <risa> sí. Ok. Lo, lo quería bien energiz energizado, ok. <risa> ok, good. And to make suggestion, we can say, try this, I suggest, you should. Podemos usar el imperativo. Podemos decir, drink. Drink tea, por ejemplo. Try this. Get that. Take this, etcétera, etcétera. O podemos usar, I suggest this. I suggest that. that ¿no? Y también podemos usar el should. You should drink a lot of water. You should stay in bed. You should... ¿no? 
etcétera, etcétera. Esas tres formas son utilizadas para dar una sugerencia, right? Ok. Ok. ¿Estamos listos para el laboratorio? No le check, yes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, if you have problems, I will help, right? Si hay alguna, un problemita, pues, ay, yo les echo la mano, right? Y para terminar la clase tenemos un ejercicio de listening, right? Try this, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Me lo hacen, por favor, porque es una práctica? Y para terminar nosotros lo que vamos a hacer, pues, vamos a trabajar en grupos, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar la conversación. Okay. okay. Let, let, let me okay. let me place the conversation here. Uh, what do you suggest? Give me a second. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation request, please friend, as it is important to read. Listen and practice. Hi. Okay. Ahí vamos a dejar la conversación. Ok, give me a second. Here, right? Ahí está la conversación. Ok. Y vamos a seccionar los grupos. Ok, uh, tenemos 18 participantes ahorita. Vamos a hacer... Let me check. Um, eh, let's make four group, right? Vamos a hacer cuatro grupos. Ok. Eh, section 1, right? Eh, grupo 1. Let me see. Uh, Ángel Martínez, Brenda Álvarez, Oscar, Patricia y Yanira. Eh, en el grupo 2, Alan, Dani, Felipe, Iris y Mirna. Grupo 3, Gloria, José Magaña, Karen Meléndez, Lisset. Y en el grupo 4, Betty Vázquez, Ivet, José Pérez y Roxana Méndez. Ok. okay? Good. Okay. Okay. Let's practice the conversation, right? Hola. Come on, ¿Y, dónde vamos, ¿Y dónde vamos right. a ver la, la conversación? You don't see the conversation. No. No. Ah, ok. No. So we're going to come back. Entonces vamos a regresar a, a, al grupo todo. Hola, manda al phone. Al WhatsApp. Ok, lo que pasa es que ya solo nos quedan como cinco minutos. <risa> ya no da tiempo. Ya no da tiempo. Vamos sí. a ver. Um... Rife, ahí me... <risa> What happened? No, microphone. 
Teacher, enciende el micrófono. Teacher, we cannot hear you. Turn on the microphone. Teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Perdón, porque pensé que todos estábamos viendo la conversación, pero no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So we're going to, to ask for volunteers. Entonces vamos a hacerlo todos juntos, ¿ok? So I need two volunteers okay. to lead the conversation. I. Okay. And I, but I don't have the conversation. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alan and. Alan I. And, and Danny. Okay. Alan and Danny. Okay. Give me a second. Ahorita les comparto. Wait. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Who yeah, is ready. the first person? Okay. Pharmacist Alan, right? And Danny. Okay. This is Web. Come on. One, two, oh, three. Perfect. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a bottle of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for drinking skin? Try some of these new lotions. Very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy to stay. Can you suggest anything? You should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have a large bar, please? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. Okay. And we have uh, time for the last practice, right? I need two volunteers. Raise your hands. Volunteers? Let me see. Two more volunteers? No, I... <laughs> okay. Patricia. Patricia, okay, Patricia en Brenda. Hi. Brenda, okay, Brenda, Brenda. Patricia en, en Brenda, thank you. Now, Patricia, you're the pharmacist, and Brenda, you're Mrs. Webb, right? Okay, Hi. ready? One, two, three. Hi, may, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I, I, think I am getting a cough. Well, I you. you I suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some if the new lotion is very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? Uh, uh, he shall try some of this multivitamin. That's excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay. Okay. Multivitamin. <laughs> okay. Now I want to read in the messages. Eh, por ahí escuché que en Santa Ana no se sintió, los chicos de Santa Ana los, no sintieron el temblor. Oh, yeah, ah, sí. Y siento mucho que a Betty le esté fallando al micrófono, pero pues a la próxima vamos a ver si, si ah, consigue un mejor micrófono por ahí con Betty, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupen, yo también a veces tengo problemas técnicos y, ¿verdad? Eh, también ya casi se iba el internet aquí por el temblor, porque yo vivo en, en tercera planta, así que... Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Pero lo importante es que tuvimos la clase muy bien. Uh, voy a pasar lista. Eh, al que no mencione, por favor, me, me dice. Teacher no me mencionó. Ok, Alan, Ángel Martínez, Betty Vázquez, Blanca Lemus, Felipe, Gloria Palma, Iris, José Magaña, José Pérez, Karen Meléndez y Betsy Liesar, Mirna López, Roxana Méndez, Yanira García y Oscar Martínez. Patricia Morales. Brenda Patricia. Alvarez, ok, teacher. Patricia, Patricia, give me a second. Aquí está Patricia Morales. Thank you. And Brenda. Lizette Brenda Ramírez también. Yes. Brenda Álvarez. ¿Quién más? Lizette Ramírez. Lizette Ramírez. Give me a second, Lizette. And me. Lizette Ramírez. Ok, who is me? <laughs> 
Dani Sandoval. Ah, Dani. Thank you, Dani. I'm sorry, Dani. Que entró un poquito tarde, ¿verdad, Dani? Yes, teacher. Sí, sí. Okay. So sorry. No problem, no problem. Es que como los que van entrando, les voy poniendo asistencia. Ah, pues, eh, Carlos Cabrera no está, ¿verdad? Giovanni, que hoy no se pudo conectar. Y uh, Katia Torres, no, ¿verdad? No. Rodrigo Rojas tampoco. Janet Morales, Janet. No estuvo con nosotros, Janet. Y Saraí tampoco estuvo, ¿verdad? Ok. So, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any extra question. No. Extra question? No, no, teacher. Ok. No. Don't forget Profe, it. Sería, sería mucha molestia que si nos puede enviar las presentaciones. Ah, ok. They are in the platform. Entiendo, Iris, que las, eh, ustedes pueden tener acceso a, a la plataforma. No, Sí, pero, pero en la clase ajá, dio más palabras que no las tengo, ah, que no están en la plataforma. Pero en el video van a aparecer, Iris. Las presentaciones de PowerPoint. Sí, Entonces sí. nos podría estar mandando los links Vaya, eh, para encontrarlo. Déjenme un segundo, porque yo, yo, yo entendía que ustedes tenían acceso al video de esta clase. Sí, sí, sí tenemos el, acceso el al video donde el sale todo. la... El link Ajá. de YouTube. Este es el video donde sale la, ah, la señorita vaya. que siempre da las clases. Pero okay. las presentaciones de PowerPoint que usted, que usted uh -huh. nos... ¿Les muestro? Usted no, nos no. muestra, son diferentes. Me imagino, no sí. sé vaya, si mire, Déjeme idearme una forma, porque quizás... Yo, yo les puedo enviar porque yo les tomo foto. Ah, vaya, ¿Qué? pero... pero lo Compañeros, que pasa es... saquen screenshot. Saquen Ajá, facturas. Exacto. Sí, pero no, no puedes sacar... Solo que, bueno, solo Iris. que... Sí, lo que pasa es que están clase, ocupando ¿no? el... Vaya, Iris, le, le voy a decir qué podemos hacer. Va. Eh, usted vaya hacia el video, al link, y cuando esté la, la, el, el, lo que puse ahora en el PowerPoint, este, le, da, le da detener. Y ahí ve bien el dibujito donde está, porque ah, okay. como era, era demasiado vocabulario, ¿verdad? Yo se los puse para que ustedes más o menos este, sepan cómo se dicen algunas cosas que uno a veces no sabe, ¿verdad? Cómo se dicen ciertas bueno. cosas. Pero eh, voy, a, voy a preguntar si se puede mandar de alguna forma las presentaciones de PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Pero lo sí, que porque esa sería como, yo creo que esa es como información adicional. Sí, sí, pero le, le voy viendo... a ser sincero. Lo, lo, que, lo que nos interesa a nosotros... Después de terminar ahorita, yo voy a subir el video. Y entonces, allá en la oficina, ellos lo suben en el transcurso de la mañana. Eh, uh -huh. Déjeme preguntar, porque lo que nos interesa a nosotros como inglés corporativo es que ustedes trabajen en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y se concentren en el vocabulario y todo el trabajo de la plataforma. Ya Pero se lo sobra de la tiempo. la plataforma es como bien corto. La, la, ah, con las correcto. presentaciones usted por, como que amplía más el tema. Por eso tenemos la clase grabada, ¿verdad? Todo esto lo vamos a ver grabado, así que lo pueden ver. Pero eh, voy a preguntar si de alguna forma se les puede mandar uno o algún otro este, PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Yo voy a, voy a preguntar a ver qué me dicen en administración, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay. thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.